to do an update on this fast, everybody, because this came out. We talked about it on Wednesday, but there's an update on the whole Meghan Markle and Harry situation. Apparently, the photographers that were chasing paparazzi were hired by Backgrid Photo Agency. And Harry's team actually sent a, you know, a lawsuit over them being like, hey, what we want you to do is we demand, we demand that you immediately provide us with copies of all photos, videos, and or films taken last night by the freelance photographers after the, after they were couples left their event and were chasing them around the city. They demanded it. And now Backgrid Photo Agency said, eh, all right, we live in America, everybody. And in America, it's property belongs to the owner of it. So we're not giving you shit. Denial. Rejected. Bam. That's done. Now, the big thing is that's happening here. It's like they're saying, well, all this stuff happened. Now there was, they're fearing for their lives. It was horrible, right? But apparently NYPD came out and said, well, you know, the paparazzi were challenging. Well, that's all they would say about it. On top of that, Backgrid said that they were never in immediate danger at any point in all of this. And they're actually amping this up and it's not real what they're saying. And they're just making it a bigger thing than it is. And that's interesting to hear. And also a taxi driver came up. The taxi driver that picked them up, apparently picked them up by the police station, was going to take them someplace, got a block, got stopped, and then went back to the police station. And he was saying, too, that eh, it's not exactly like they were saying. Like, it's not that. It's a little bit exaggerated. So the question is now, what's happening with this? First of all, if, if you're taking these photos, why do you not release them? And also, like, you think it'd be for, like, a newspaper or something, or you know, you put it out somewhere. And on top of that, like, what actually happened there? And there's also stuff online saying this didn't happen in New York. I'm not throwing this grid right now. Here's the grid of New York right now. So in New York, if you see the Zegfield Ballroom right here is where the event went down on Tuesday night. And then where he was actually picked up by the, uh, the, the uh, taxi cab driver. We got that in the grid right here. So they actually went from there to the taxi cab by the, by the um, you know, actual police station. They got about a block and see where they dropped him off and then went back. This happened in New York, everybody. This happened in New York. It's a real thing. Everyone's like, it didn't happen. It's the same that we're talking about on, on Friday or, or on Wednesday. Yes, I get it. Like the, the, the whole thing that happened with OJ Simpson it was in the 405. That happened somehow. I have no fucking idea how it happened. The same thing like this happened in New York. I have no idea how it happened, but it did. It did. Who uses taxis? Good question, Chris Panico. Well, I have no was idea. Their second, their second vehicle, because their personal, yes, yeah. their personal driver yes. had gotten all yes. tangled up. They were chased all day. They were frantic when they got into it. Rachel, what do you think about this? Do you think there's some shadiness here? Is this publicity, or is it also like, is there a real story here? I think multiple angles of things can be true depending on perspective. I nope. is saying that it was over exaggerated true from some people's perspective. Absolutely. But when you consider the fact that his mom died in a very similar way, could this have nope. set off a panic attack for Harry? Absolutely. Whether or not the danger was real, he may have felt that it was real. So like, it's a really complicated situation. Like with all of it, should they have been following them at all? No. <laughs> like let no. these people no. live their fucking lives. Yes, of course. They're paparazzi. That's their job. That's what they do. Yeah. But Given the way that his mom died, I am very sympathetic to the way he would have felt in that situation. Are they playing yeah, off that be. sympathy, That's though? That's ridiculous. That's the question. Sabrina has something to say right here. I'm going to take you to Sabrina right now. Sabrina, what do you think about this? I, I, I think it's all a sham, and it's all bullshit, and it's all ridiculous. There are pictures that are came out on TMZ about this supposed chase where a taxi cab was literally just stopped in the middle of a fucking road, and, and there's people taking pictures inside the taxi cab. First of all... If you're in a SUV with tinted windows, why in the shit fuck do you get out of that and get into a taxi cab with no tinted windows so that cameras can see you, right? Then they, they go on, 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 on a They didn't want them to follow them their residence. Okay, th there was not their residence. It was their friend's the residence. Tail. And if they would have just sprung to stay at a hotel, they could have pulled into a fucking parking garage and it would have been over. But instead, they're risking whoever, whatever friend, who comes to New York for a couple days that is part of the royal family and doesn't stay at a fucking hotel. Like, honestly, honestly, like, get your shit together. Stay at a hotel. Meet your friend for brunch. This is absurd. I can't with any of this. It is absurd and ridiculous. And honestly, like, the fact that, like, there's pictures of them in the taxi cab where she's sitting there with a slight smirk Which on her face. Which just saw. He's, he's, like, filming. What? Which we just saw. Oh, you just showed that picture? Yeah. 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 It's a, she doesn't look upset at all. She's like, uh -huh, my plan is coming together. I'm Mr. Burns. And um, he is sitting there with his phone up trying to block his face. And her mom is just like this. Like, okay, great. No one seems terrified. No one thinks they're going to die in five minutes. And by the way, the taxi cab is barely fucking moving. 
So don't give me a high speed chase. What a block. Shenanigans. Well, it, it like, was never said to be a high speed chase. But oh, it was. Still, it was like, said to be. It was said to be a high speed chase. It was. They said they went through red lights. They went up uh, over uh, onto sidewalks. It was extremely publicized all that by baseline. their people that it was a high speed, dangerous, near catastrophic situation. And I call bullshit on all of it. All and people online were saying that it's not real, didn't happen in New York. And I'm like, it happened in New York. Like, oh, this it, went down. no, no, no. Hold on, Brian. The thing is, the, 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 the near catastrophic chase didn't happen in New York. A slow turtle roll around the city did happen, but not a, uh, not a dangerous, near catastrophic, da- endangering the lives of everybody. That didn't happen. But this, like, it was like almost like a parade. Like a slow parade around all of Manhattan did happen. And they specifically didn't go straight to their friend's residence because they didn't want to uh, give up their location. So they chose to go around in like this weird, like long way to get to their friend's house. Like who does that? I wouldn't want the paps to know where I'm staying either or the general public. Well, if you go to a hotel, then it doesn't fucking matter. Well, they still know where you are at a hotel. Like, I wouldn't want Who that. cares? You get in an elevator, go up to your room. The, no one's going to let the paparazzi up at the Carlisle, by the way. Like, it doesn't That's matter. You go live your life. You come you out the night. They'll be... Sure, great. They're going to wait for them anywhere they, they go. They're the royal family. It's the same. You're a celebrity. That's what happens. Everyone well, knows what you're saying. They wait for you. I'm sorry. Well, we, got, we, got, we, we, have, we have King Charles calling in right now. He has something oh, to say Christ. about this. King Charles, what, what do you have to say about this? Why are you chasing me son around? Why can't you leave the family alone? All you got to do is chase me son around in New York. I don't care about the woman, but my son you got to leave alone. Why are you chasing after him? You calling him a liar? Sabrina, I know where you live. I have <laughs> cameras. I got the CVTs. Come on down, buddy. Come on down. I, I'm royalty. <laughs> I have all the cameras. Barely. For, for five minutes, you are. I'm five minutes of royalty more than you. That is very true. That is very true. Lexi, no what do you true think about words this? have been spoken. Lexi, would you agree with Rachel or Sabrina on this? Do you think this was very you know, emotional and hard on them? Or do you think this was a setup? I, I do think that... Um... You don't chase him around like that, yeah. Um, especially with his mom dying the way that she did. I can see how it would trigger No, no, him. no. The, listen, I, Alexei, I don't mean to cut you off, but honestly, this is they, they did this shit on purpose so that they can use this as a leg up in, in oh their... Like, he, has blamed, he has blamed the press for everything that's wrong in his life. Everything. Like, that. Will, in his book, Spare, the number one villain that. is the fucking press. I will well, just say that. Killed his mom. I'd be mad at the press too. Okay, if it, first of all, if it comes Reagan. out, I'm just going to say this, Sabrina. If it comes out that yeah. you are 100 percent correct, and that I am 100 percent correct, and this is all some bullshit publicity, son, then I'm 100 percent on your side, and I'm like, I 100 percent agree with you, and I take back everything. But like, <laughs> if it's if it's like if it's just them chasing him around or whatever, and it's like legitimately just like them chasing him around, like. This kid's mom was traumatically killed, like by the paparazzi. Like the way that she was taken out was brutal, and it's still and they like didn't help her. they took pictures of her dying instead of helping her. Yeah, like the way Fuck that up. it was, the way that it was handled is like one of the most traumatic like paparazzi deaths ever, and like it kind of changed the game. So I understand how he can have trauma around that, and that's all I'll say on that. And I'll just no. I believe he does have trauma around it, but I believe that this is a completely different situation. You can't be slow rolling around Manhattan and pulling into police stations (laughs) and calling it a a high speed, uh, um, what's it called, near catastrophic, two hour long chase. That is ridiculous. They're both. You couldn't have a. You can't have a high speed chase around Manhattan for ten minutes. Like honestly, that's what the mayor said, and and I've lived there. It's ridiculous. There's no way. There's literally no way. They've both repeatedly proven that they're like very high stress right now. Anyway, like they get uppity about a lot of things, and they get. They're also very high. uh, Pay attention to me, even though I don't want you to. Like it's it's a lot. It is. They're they are a lot. They are a lot. She is a lot. She is a lot. 
And what the fuck is a Woman of Vision Award? Like, no one's ever heard of that in anybody's <laughs> lifetime. Like, they're giving her uh, a, Meghan a Markle Woman has. of Vision Award. Meghan Markle award? Are you she talking probably about? created I got, that charity got, and gave it to herself. I got on the shelf absurd. over there. I got yeah, well, you... I, I, I would vote for you way over I vote for her in her I gold lame curtain dress. I, I just earned three more, like, right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> you have had all the vision. Yes, you have. I and the, I, I would give it to you. But this you, is if they, if they set it up as a pop walk type of situation, that's fucked up. If not, okay, I the pops are wrong. I don't think they set it up. I don't think they set it up. They were like, come here and do this. I think that they right. purposely got into the, they, they purposely let them and took the long way around so that they would be able to follow them. They would be able to create this this persona or this, uh, um, what's the right word? Um, this aura of, of this is happening. And oh my God, we're so scared. But those pictures that were released them in taxi cab, not one person looked scared. Like she was like, whatever. The mom was like, this is embarrassing. And he was like, I'm going to video this. I think like, there was no, in this one. no one looked terrified. And by so the way, fucking upset in that picture. Yeah. Well, he's pissed because his wife made him do this, probably. But also, um, they do want attention, Chris. They do want a ton of attention. But also, she like well, I would there, be pissed too if I were him. There is no fear, and there is a video. There is a like video it. attached to these pictures that, like, the the taxi cab is literally not even moving. It's not moving. They're just sitting there in a taxi cab, right, and it's not that's moving. Just there one is no moment in the situation. Yeah. The taxi cab was there for four blocks, he said. He said it was a very short period of time right. before he one went block. back to the police station. There was one block. black car before that. Right, yes. But my point there is... There was a whole thing is, before that, yeah. There was no... Yes, of course there was. But there was no at, There was no point where they were in fear for their lives, and it was terrifying. You're in, an, you're in a black car with tinted windows. You could have easily just stopped the car and sat there. And no one would have been able to see you. They would have taken 58 pictures of a blank window. Like, you could have done that. You could have pulled into any hotel parking lot. You could have pulled into any place where a million other celebrities in New York City have pulled into for safety. Like, this is a thing that happens to everyone, not just you. Okay? You're not the only celebrity in the world. So if you endured this for two hours, that's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. And you gave that perception <laughs> and expecting it to garner sympathy. But instead, it turned around on you and it garnered the fact that you're an attention-seeking asshole. In my personal fucking opinion, and I will oh. not change it, and it's it's one hundred percent in my me. opinion I, I just, correct. I personally have a little bit of sympathy for him in particular, given the situation with his mother. Yes, yeah. of course, but he let this 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 succubus like take his life away <laughs> and 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 create a different version of him. Like she, he is not he is not himself Damn, anymore. Says Chris Benico. She has 100% like taking him out suits. of his... There, yeah. there is some important <laughs> business we got to talk about, though, quickly, because, I'm Lexi, that was an impression before. You must drink. <laughs> mm. I get it. Horrible. I get it. Because of what happened with his mother, all of this is bad. It's all bad. Because of what happened with Princess Di, it's all bad. Because it's like pulling on those heartstrings. But that is not what this it's, is. That is right? not what this it's, is at all. The fact and the for pictures you, aren't going to be released for is them, a big deal. Dude, for them, no. And it's also that the pictures are going to be released. Like those. What's that? They, no, Megan and Harry demanded, their lawyer demanded the pictures from an independent media company. Of course yeah. they're not going to give you the fucking pictures. You want the pictures so that they'll never come out and people will know that you're lying. Why else but would they want the pictures? If they, if they weren't they lying, they'd be like, release the pictures. Because they're going to hold their cars closed. Maybe there's a hold on them legally because they think, demanded them. Who knows? Do you think that, that they're in cahoots? Are they in cahoots and that's why they no. won't release the photos? No, don't I'm make it more than it is, Brian. Don't make it I'm more than it is. I'm just putting it out there because they will not release the photos. And if you're chasing these people to take photos of them for publicity, you think it would be like front The question really today. is why do they want the copies of the – why do they want all the pictures? So that they can have Remember, control over the yeah. narrative. So that they can have control over the narrative is the answer. That's why. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want people profiting off of my trauma either, which all these news oh, sources true. are. With Oh, my God. Again, with the it. trauma. Rachel, rein it in. There's no trauma. Okay? They did this on purpose. He has trauma. He totally has trauma, you know? He has Princess past Diana. trauma, yes, but this didn't stir up anything. Trust me. My son has trauma. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah guess what? Your son, your son has so much trauma that you didn't even make a statement or call him after it happened. I Sir Charles. Stones. People. Pick yeah, oh, King, King Chuck me. is so fucking Do you have a courier pigeon that you can send his way? Fucking thing. Coronation. It looks like he's like a baton twirler in high school. Oh, like, uh, what's, that, what's that called? Courier corgis that do make um, this He looks miserable me. to being crowned the king. <laughs> he looks so fucking just nothing. Like, it Camilla looks like, like he's a wild team. Ass really? off the whole time. I have to put me ears out to hold my phone up. You want to talk about a villain way. in the royal family? Camilla. Camilla.